Welcome everyone. Welcome back to module three of Google Certified Educator Level One. As I have been seeing in my sessions, so I have divided the apps in different modules and today we are going to cover up point two in module three that is calendar. And the points in the calendar we'll be covering up would be creating a new calendar, sharing the calendar, add an appointment in a calendar, create notification. Suppose I want like a reminder 10 minutes before the meeting and 30 minutes or one day before the meeting. And also adding attachments to the calendar for meeting. Uh, sometimes you need to have an agenda. So you could actually add the agenda directly to the calendar for the meeting. So let's see how it's done. You will click on the link. You'll go on calendar.google.com. Now, as soon as uh, you go on calendar.google.com, it opens up the calendar page with all the existing calendars available with you. So what you could do is you would just click on this plus sign here where it shows you other calendars. Just click on it. And uh, let me just move my video. So you'll click on. So you'll click on this plus sign, create a new calendar. And you'll give a name like appointment calendar. It's very important that you select your right time zone when you are creating a calendar so that people get the reminders accurately whenever you send them a calendar invite. So that's how we create a calendar. So it takes like about a, less than a minute or so. Uh, it converts, so it creates your calendar. And once it's done, you get a message that the appointment, uh, the calendar is created. So either you can, so you go back to that page and you can see uh, that calendar is selected here. So what you could do is if you click on these three dots here, uh, it lets you add the color or if you if you wish to change the color of the calendar itself now what you can do is if you want to make an appointment of the calendar for the calendar so how do you actually create an appointment for the calendar now let's select next month that's august or let's select next week so and I wish to create an appointment for 11 a.m. So if you see here, 11 a.m., I'll just click here. Now, as soon as I click here, this box pops up. So I normally like going on more options when I'm creating an, uh, you know, a, a calendar. So I'll click on it. I'll add meeting with student two. I'll readjust the time to 30 minutes. Okay. Now I'm not doing an online meeting. So in case if I was doing an online meeting, I would just click on this and it would generate a Google Meet link. I will provide the address. So if it is a school location, I'll provide the school location. A very important thing, what I want to do is add notification here. So I'll click on add notification. 10 minutes before the meeting, I should get an alert. And one day, okay, one day before the meeting and 10 minutes before the meeting, right? It's very important that I select the right calendar here so that it gets saved in that particular calendar. And the final thing I would do is go on attachment and add a file. So let me select a file as an agenda. And finally, what I would do is share the invite with the, the student. And as soon as I click on save and I click on send, because this sends an invitation mail. 
and also what it does is it asks you whether you want to share with one person yes so if you are you want to give you permissions to the person you can do that or if it is a meeting with your staff and you wish to do a kind of a collaboration with all the staff members you can click on edit so right now i wish to keep it as view and i give and click on invite so that's it that's done so when you create keep creating meetings it will keep showing you the option of uh, you know uh, the the, uh, the the meetings what you are setting up so and also when you click on settings menu here it goes uh, you know further wherein uh, lets you change the language and regions uh, if you want to add different times, uh, you want to show weekends, uh, declined events. If you want to put in working hours so that there is some kind of an appointment calendar you wish to create sometimes, even that can be done. And uh, the best part is the settings can be arranged separately for different calendar as and when required at your end. So I really like this. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a very uh, good option uh, to use uh, with your, uh, you know, staff. So finally, what you'll do is, suppose the same calendar, you want to share amongst two, three people. Now, I suppose you have three, four teachers who work on the same grade and you want to keep create a common calendar, like a course calendar or an appointment calendar. So you could just click on those three dots, click on settings and sharings. And if you go on add people here, you could type the email addresses of the people who with wish you wish to share the calendar. Note, you are not going, mostly you're not going to share the calendar with the student. It's the teachers or the heads or the, or the coordinators who are sharing the calendar amongst, uh, you know, each other. You could also share it with students, but when you're, sharing it with students so uh, you probably give them a view access only rather than making giving them an option of changing making further changes to it so that was uh, my uh, module on calendar thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next session